Hello everyone. In this video I'd like to ask why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Someone requested for this question. So let's have a look. Why doesn't he want to be alone with you? I have five different tarot card decks in front of me. Number one, two, three, four, and five. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of a person and choose a deck. You can think of five persons here and choose five decks. Okay, and take your time, please. Okay, have you chosen your deck? So let's have a look, starting with the deck number one. So the question is, this is um, a Thea deck by Lascar Bale, the Book of Thoth. Why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Okay. So, first of all, um, we have a situation that could talk about the past. It can talk about uh, the fact that um, it's the relationship is already in the past. It can be that it's an ex. It can be that you have a past together with this person. You know. Uh, so it can be that being with you reminds you of something. Or it can be simply mean, meaning that uh, you're asking about a situation that happened in the past. Let's say someone didn't want to be with you alone. Okay, so, um, so the thing is here that, first of all, it means travel travel you know so maybe it's something with a place or how to find the right place or how to find the right time you know to be with that person to be with you for example and I feel yeah and I feel well we have the card of criticism here so it can simply mean that uh, you criticize this person or you uh, taunt this person, how to say you, let's say, maybe not in a bad way, maybe you're trying to help that person through um, pointing out some things about them and they take it as a criticism, they take, take it as something mean and that's why they kind of avoid being with you alone. Yeah, uh, so maybe this person is always trying to be on the move, kind of avoid you, not to let you the chance to be with them in a way, because they think nothing as good is going to come out of that. Maybe you'll get into the fight or something, but mainly I think you'll feel, rest uh, they feel restricted with you, like they feel like um, you're making them feel lower than who they are, like they feel not appreciated or something. There's this feeling like um, being um, uncomfortable, I would say. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see um, what is the advice here. What is the advice for you how to... Okay, so we have that five of coins here that's actually uh, meaning lack of order it's a very interesting card meaning the lack of order so basically when this card falls it's usually 
it's not worth trying. It's just something not matching or like it says lack of order is basically pointing to the fact, I'm going to be super literal here, that each person has a thing like an order and um, you can see atmosphere or mood or energy. So if someone just doesn't like it, you know, there are way, um, moments when people just don't like it. Um, don't feel like being with that person. So it's you cannot do anything about that. Yeah, feel you cannot do anything about that. We have the card of embarrassment. And uh, basically all roads are closed also. So in this case, I think you will only... Yeah, embarrass yourself. You will only feel bad if you try to force this. Yeah. So uh, this deck is actually a bit rude. I know it's the Atea deck and um, I'm reading it very literally and it has this attitude. So I hope I didn't um, insult anybody with this with these meanings. But basically, it has um, a part of truth in it, as I did readings on myself. I've seen that it does tell the truth, but in its own kind of snobbish way, um, because it's an old deck, French deck. So, yeah. Okay, so this was our reading for the deck number one. And now let's move on to the deck number two. This is our deck number two, and it's the Connolly Tarot deck. The question is, why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Okay, so we have the card that just confirms it. Look, you're looking at him. He's not looking at you. He's looking at the book. He's acting uninterested. He's avoiding your eyes. Why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Okay. Look, I would say I think he's not happy with you here. If you are in a relationship with this person, um, I feel, you know, we have chains here. Maybe you're married with this person. Maybe because devil often is marriage, because devil keeps people chained, and marriage sometimes feel like that, like chains. So now, you know, it can be that it's not your fault. It can be that just something in the marriage is not working out in the relationship. You know that there is it's too difficult. It's too heavy. And this person feels like they have no space for themselves. That sort of feeling. And uh, in some cases, it just can mean that they're upset about something else also. Yeah. And basically in depression and not feeling well. And they just are not in a state to to communicate or to talk. So they just want to, they want to be on their own. It can be that sort of thing. They are trying to deal with it the way they can. Now, Queen of Wands sometimes can be a pushy person. some A person who is a little bit aggressive and pushy. Not because it's a bad person, but because it's a very ambitious person. It's a very confident person, very active. The energy is very strong. And uh, the Queen of Wands, usually, uh, she will push things, you know, to happen. She will. She's not passive She's not a passive person, like Queen of Cups would be passive, you know, Queen of Pentacles also, or more passive, like more karma. So Queen of Wands would be more aggressive. And it can be that they cannot take your energy at this time. Simply, they cannot take your energy because there is something that they feel is holding them tied up. And they have no space, they have no freedom, or something like that. Maybe it's another female that uh, is holding them like this, you know, tied up and in control. They're in control, they're being manipulated by her, they're being held by her. 
and they're simply having a headache because of that situation and they um crying over that situation over that marriage or relationship or something and they're not in a state of mind they're too sad okay so let's see what is advice for you how to deal with this situation with this person I have the same card coming out. Well, I'm getting here. You can call them. You can try talk to them. Look at them. Uh, it can be just give them space, you know, just let them be alone. When they're ready, they will come back to you. They will kind of... Um, want to be alone with you. Yeah, so we have the situation that this person might be very sensitive. You know, the King of Cups, he might be a moods person. So if someone hurts them, I think of a typical Scorpio, if someone hurts them, they will take a year for, get, for, for giving that. Or, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe they're a Cancer person. So it can be that uh, they got um they got disappointed in their family, let's say. Maybe they thought the wife is cheating, maybe something like that basically. They basically upset. The fact is they're upset about something and they're taking it very sensitive. And if you try to talk to them, they might get even more sensitive. So I think it's best to leave them alone, let them work this out. And um, they might come back to you again. Now, it also can talk that the person is in, under the influence of alcohol, the alcoholic person. And what to do? Basically, you can only look at them. You cannot do anything here. They need to decide and they need to get back from that situation. And just, they will come back to you when they're ready I feel like they are over undergoing something here will they improve well yeah I feel that they will improve at least not uh, they will become not happy but they will become stable mentally so yeah they need to heal a little bit let's have a look at our Deck number three now. This is our deck number three. It's the Golden Botticelli Tarot. By Las Carabeo, the question is, why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Well, basically, we have a situation... That shows that you're not in good terms with each other. There has been a probable fight, a misunderstanding. Some sort of struggle is happening. In some cases, it can be that you have no idea about the struggle. But it's happening on a mental level um, in within. That is like this invisible, maybe, resistance to you. Or to some things that you said or did. You don't agree with that. And so, so basically, they're upset, they're angry about that. Now, well, the problem, they want to be alone. The problem, they want to be alone. And um, they might act a, a little bit depressed and, like, uh, excluded from everything. Everything is fine with them. Though, in their environment, they have money, they have love, they have everything. But they choose to be in this masochistic masochistic, masochistic state of mind. They, they, they want this. Uh, they want to be alone, like they're angry. Yeah. And uh, and I think it's also basically uh, like the mood swing or or something like that. It's just that they are on their low now. They're on the lower uh, mood. 
because the I think the wheel talks about a person that is not very stable mentally, not very predictable, you can say. So one day they might be super happy and talk to you, the other day they might be acting like sad and you have no idea why. So here also it can be that they basically want to be alone, simply, yeah. And not just in general, they don't want to be alone with you, but at that time when you approach them, they wanted, they were thinking something, they needed to be alone, and you just came in, and that's why they got a little bit upset. Um, so I think when the time comes again, it's just a circumstance. When the right time comes, they will want to be with you. It's just an accident. It's not like they don't want to be with you in general. What is the advice for you? Or I could say you caught them on the bad timing. What's the advice for you? Basically, just uh, keep your distance. It's passivity. It's um, not doing anything. It's just waiting until they are ready and um, no need um, to basically overthink it, I think. I think if you're too pushing to be with them, maybe it's better to back off. These are not good cards, yeah? The, the tower talks about separation and stuff. So it's better not to be pushy here. It's better to back off, yeah, I would say. And keep the distance here. Because if, from their perspective, it might be that you also had some sort of like a disagreement here. So, yeah. Okay. What was the reason of the disagreement? Um, it was about a man, it was about work, it was who sharing the duties, who sharing, you know, the things. And I'm feeling it's because of work, it's because of who who's doing what at work or at home or something like that. Okay, this was our reading number three. Now let's have a look at our reading number four. And we're going to use our 1001 uh, Knights Tarot by Los Carabeo. Sorry. The question is, why doesn't he want to be alone with you? Why doesn't he or she don't want to be alone with you? Okay, here we, we have uh, some sort of freedom, like thinking about something, going somewhere. Well, here I'm getting they want to be with you, you know, they want to be with you, but at that time they were studying something, they were reading something, they were busy. Maybe they, uh, uh, they have ambition, they have a goal, some where they want to go somewhere far away. Uh, like it can be a business or uh, some sort of course is studying on um, and maybe you caught them at this moment when they were reading it was literally this person is reading here as you can see doing their homework or just preparing for some meeting or something so uh, they were thinking about work we can say work or project or studies or in their creative mood you know that sort of dreamy mood and uh, why didn't they want they don't want to be alone maybe they don't want you to be together at this moment because they know that they when they start being with you together they cannot do their work they cannot complete their work um, because it shows that you and them when you're together you're like in the sky you know you're like feeling so involved in each other and so happy um, so maybe they're not uh, it's not a good time for romance right now because they have to finish some work or something like that and well in some cases can be that maybe they have in mind someone else I don't know but I feel that it can be you basically what's the advice for you here 
how to do about that. Well, I feel here that if you talk about work and money and things like that, they uh, would like to be with you, you know. It's like I asked what not to do. So we have this uh, past and something scary going on. So if you're trying to talk about some past or if you're trying to scare them somehow, I think it says, um, you know, don't bring the unpleasant topics. Maybe you want to bring unpleasant topics as well or bring some past back. So they don't want that. They want to only talk about prosperity, money and positivity. Maybe they want you to talk about their dreams with them. Like, if you can ask, so what are you working on, you know, what are you doing, you know, that sort of feeling, that sort of thing. Then they might talk to you, I feel. You know, if you're a male, uh, I think they want you to, she, if it's a girl, she might want you to, uh, help her, you know, by offering some like contacts if you have about in business or something. If she wants your help in work at work with her dreams. If um, you're, um, yeah, if you're a female, I think they also want you to show your interest in basically what they are doing and ask them to show you their work and what they are creating or something like that. They don't want to go there. They don't want to go to the cemetery, which is basically past. They don't want to think about past and bad things and things that they've let go already. And they want to move on, yeah? Okay, so this was our reading number four. Now let's move on to our reading number five. This is a reading number five. It's Tara Lenamard deck by Los Carabeo. The question is, why doesn't he or she want to be alone with you? Why doesn't he or she want to be alone with you? Well, here I feel that they have it settled. They have maybe a family. Maybe they have a wife waiting for them. Um, so in one case, I'm having the story where uh, you are in love with a person. You're acting a little bit immature and childish. And you don't think it's a big deal, you know. So, and you have... Like, you know, some sort of dreams regarding that person. You want to meet that person. You want something from them. And uh, they're married, you know, so they are putting this um, fence around them. Now, the other version is that basically... Uh, Again, they might have been doing some research work. They might have been doing some research work. And, you know, the simply, maybe, you you know, you came there in their place and stood up like this. Uh, your body language was very, you know, like, look at me. Stop doing what you're doing. Look at me. Don't look there. And they got annoyed or something. Well, actually, I'm getting here this immaturity and a little bit of, um, like, you're trying to tell them, like, look, I'm here. Look, what about me? You know, that sort of feeling. Um, so you don't, you showed, like, uh, no interest, again, in what they were doing. And maybe they were doing something very important. And maybe they were looking at their photos of their child somewhere on the Internet, on Facebook or something. And uh, you came and said, no, look at me. So something like that. 
and uh, basically uh, and maybe you always do that you know you always stand up there and like look at me look at me and I know it's not a big deal but maybe they want to look somewhere else maybe they have a plan you know to do something else or go somewhere else and you're standing like a barrier there not letting them do what they want to do you know maybe they wanted to have some sort of achieve something do something yeah well basically the same meaning goes so what is advice for you how can you Mm, behave around this person next time when you are in the situation. What's the advice for you? Okay, so definitely you should go to them, go to them, and well meet them. But I'm getting meet them in some place, meet them outdoors, and it should be light and very funny and not very strict. Don't complain when you go to them. Basically, they like um, light conversations, easy conversations. They, they don't like to see you upset or sad. Um, so, yeah, go to them when you're not bored. Basically, have your life and be busy. But, of course, they want to meet you again. They, they want to be with you. It's not like they don't want to be with you. So, I'm getting that sort of situation here. And uh, don't use them as a time um, when you're bored, basically. Use them when you're in a good mood uh, and things like that. Okay, then. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this answered your questions. And um, I hope to see you next time. Have a great night. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And I hope all goes well with these guys and these ladies.